Yo, what's going on everybody? Back at it with this Orzov list. I don't even remember what changes we made. Very minor. I think one of them was trimming on extractions or extinction event. Last time we went 4-1. I just want to play a little bit more with the list as is. Or pretty close to as is. Before making any changes. Pretty happy last time. If I remember, the only match lost we had was to mana screw but i don't necessarily want to try and overcorrect because of one loss the list felt pretty good got into a match really quick get to be on the play let's go uh definitely keep this I think if this is really a Yorion deck, like if it's blue-white, I want to go Thraben on one Charming Prince to blink it just for additional clue value. Because that should set up my turn three of like clue plus vessel probably. But we'll have to see what they're actually doing. Is this the Bant one? It is. Okay, so like I said, we'll do this so that next turn, hopefully I can at least hit a land drop. I could crack a clue plus play Vessel. Well, we'll start with the attack. I would really like to hit my land drop, so I think I will crack this clue. Didn't hit. Awesome. That's really disappointing. Growth spiral? I have no idea what my opponent is playing. Into the Naya Triome. Hopefully this isn't like a Niv that I just stumbled against. They played another Naya Triome. Into Fable, everybody's favorite. Please say hit a land so this isn't a hard turn. Well, I'm actually just going to push and thought seize. Whoa. What? Dude, this is really bad for me. I think I'm going to... It's between these. But the Cavalier gets another one back. I mean, this is just really, really rough that... I've missed the lands again. I also just imagine we're going to lose this matchup because it's just like an unconventional ramp deck versus my low to the ground, not even fully mid-range deck, but not full aggro, and I'm missing land drops, and I can't interact with any other threats. 
Right, there's probably an argument to take this in case I drew Vanishing Verse. I'm going to not attack here. This can't hit legendaries, which is notable. Shock in the stomping ground. Wow. Okay, those were a series of draws my opponent could have. Yeah, so I have... What's up, Wally? I have this weekend, and last weekend I'm able to. So I'm trying to take advantage. But you are correct. Normally I'm not able to. What can you expect from someone named Bodingle? True. All right, their deck is actually just going to be... I don't know how to sideboard. But I think I just have to hope to have an aggressive start. I don't think I can outvalue Samick, Kenrith. Fabled. Cavalier. Especially when I miss two turns of land drops with an extra draw. Personally, I'm glad since I don't get to catch your streams often. Hey, I'm happy. I'm happy you're here, Nestor. I, uh. Yeah, I know I stream at pretty unconventional times, right? Like. Not like full PT bench starting at midnight my time, but I know it's usually pretty late. I really need to make a new, find a new playlist on Spotify for when I stream because I've like memorized the playlist that I listen to. Okay, the opponent slapped the crap out of me and now is deep in the tank on how to sideboard for an even bigger lead. They literally saw four cards, I think. I started on the play, too. That really stinks. I only have like an hour and a half to stream. So if this doesn't go well and I lose the next one, like if I start 02, I probably drop this because I really have an itch to play a deck that somebody sent me. This is technically a two lander, but a slow start. Okay, this is much better. I think I actually just put. This is like a piece of action but i think i'd rather just have make sure i hit all my land drops the push didn't seem good against them most of five all right this could be my game to win and i think on turn two i'm supposed to underdog because on turn three i can put the counter on underdog making it a four three when i attack Because I, th I think my way to win this is just to cheese them out. But I'm not sure. Alright, once again, I have no idea what their deck does. Or what it's supposed to be doing. It's a Yorion deck that just had all five drops. Um... 
Wally, I can't tell if that was a question for delay, but I literally have no idea. They just passed through their turn. Is that really what just happened? Yeah, two different Cavaliers. They have Samet, they have Kenrith. My opponent skipped through their turn and then complained to me about it. Okay, so if I can make this a 4-3, I don't think I can outgrow this Clarion in time. I'm planning to... If they play Fable... I think I'm just going to plan to verse that. And then keep attacking. But I think I should crack the clue first. Oh wow, another tap land. Oh, God. So I can't actually make everything outgrow if they drew another Wrath, unfortunately. But if they Wrath here, they just die, right? Imagine if they didn't skip a turn. Game would have been a lot different. Okay. Okay. We got a little freebie. Definitely pretty happy about that. The more I'm thinking about it, I think these fatal pushes are just really bad. Maybe I should just try and duress the fableds out of their hand. Um, I'm wondering if the Sorns are wrong and I should just play Go Blanks. Yo, what's going on, Mr. McChillin? They don't die here if they Wrath. Sorry, I was, um, I didn't speak clearly. They showed us that they have three damage Wraths. So if they did a three damage Wrath... Um, they would be dead. But yeah, if they had like a true board clear, they wouldn't be. You're correct. Sorry, I, w I wasn't very clear. I kind of think they top deck so well. I want to bring in Go Blank, but at the same time, I don't. Yo, Mr. McChillin, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, I don't think we can send this back. Oh, that's a keepable hand. Let's just remember that. Huh? Essentially, seven land cards. This can attack through the O3, so that's why I'm playing it first. I really hate Sylvan Curated. Buy Zorion. Oh, this is terribly awkward. I think I have to play the Saiganjo. 
What's going on, Woody? This is game three of a really weird match. I don't think we're going to win, but here's hoping. All right, I'm going to make another clue with this. Since I have this extraction specialist, if they play Yorian, I think I still just attack with all. Remember, they kept just like entirely lands. How's your Saturday going, Witty? Plays another Sulphur Falls. We didn't know about that. Dude, this has Vigilance and it's multicolor. Talk about a nightmare. So I'm gonna attack with all Doing all right, got in late from a show. How'd the show go? This is where I wish I, wish I had Iganjo. Okay, as weird as this looks, I think I'm supposed to specialist back the Thraben. What's going on, Karhu? Because next turn I can like escape this or whatever it's called, blitz it. But I think I just lose to this. They're multicolor. Okay, they only have five mana, I guess, which is good. But they're at 15. What is my... This has Vigilance also, so I literally just like don't have answers for it. Why do you play this now? I think I have to commit to this plan of just attacking every turn. I'd like to hit a land drop. That is not a land drop, but it's also not a bad card. I mean, it's okay, but I don't think, I just don't think we ever have a chance to win. They're also playing so strangely. Like, other creatures you control have haste. Why are you not just playing Yorian? And they have untap another target creature. So they could have played Yorian. I mean, I guess I shouldn't complain. They're going to win regardless of what they do. It just feels weird, right? Okay, you could have attacked with this.
I mean, that's how it feels, right? Like, why not just play the cards that win them the game? They also, right, they get to attack profitably and have vigilance on everything. This is actually a matchup where I should have brought in my sweeper. Because if I hit odds, it seems like all of their threats, both Cavaliers, Yorion, Samet, they're all odds. But once again, this is a really weird matchup. Yeah, style points is better than winning. See what I mean, though? Like, what the hell? They play Omnath, too. Okay. This is like playing against four color and modern. They could have attacked... And I could have survived the attack, but I would have had to chump a bunch. And then I would have drawn a four mana kill one creature. I don't think I'm winning that game. Yeah. They woke up and chose violence. Yo, what's going on, dude? How's the showcase going? Oh. Dropped. Yeah, Murtad's a freaking beating. Man, I am um, a little hungover. Yeah, not even that they can play Magus. They play a tutorable. Tutorable Magus. I'm going to keep this. Yo, Evac Mitch, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? They mulliganed. I'm keeping. The four mana white black Soren would be interesting in this deck. Life gain can be huge. Yeah, they. I've had that suggested a few times. It would definitely be cool to experiment with. Yeah, I can tell that I'm not 100% with it because I didn't even consider this as a land when I kept. So I'm definitely an experienced streamer. Oh, it's going all right. How are you doing, Evac? I guess I shouldn't do this. I'd probably just push any two drop if they played one. I don't know why, but whenever I see this land, I just, like, assume Living End. <laughs> Even though that's not going to happen in this format. Oh. Alright, we're just not having fun this league, I think. <laughs> this is... Uh, what? Yeah. I don't have the clock to beat Soul Flare. It has lifelink? No? No, it doesn't. They have it, too? Well, yeah, that's true, but they didn't miss, right? Hexproof? Wait, what was the life linker? Oh yeah. All right, that was really good. I guess this is okay. This is good. This is good. Yeah, I got. I'm getting shit on this league. It feels pretty good. So, Fatal Push was awful. They're always going to have. Yeah, Soren seems mad, but what do you replace it with? Like, Vanishing Verse is probably just never going to work. Maybe I just bring in Duress. 
Like, I think Soren is a better card than Vanishing Verse. But maybe I just want to have, like, these because they're lower to the ground. I'm down to try it, right? It's not like my record is particularly insane. Alright, I would like to play first. I have at least a little bit of graveyard hate. Obviously, I can't play this, but... Maybe there's an argument to just hard mulliganing to it, but I'm also on the play. I had no discard spells. This is probably just a bad keep. I'm really out of it, I guess. <laughs> they kept eight also. I was lurking around and I came across your stream. May I ask if you are interested in revamping your channel's branding? Like a fancy new logo, adding emotes? Um, I'm not changing this berry. But I'm also... I don't make enough money. I don't make enough money from streaming to think that that's actually a profitable investment. So if you're trying to sell something... I'm going to have to decline. And I already got the best artist in the game. Okay, they can't soul flare me. Maybe I have a chance to snipe both of these. Good, Zam. Good, good, good. I can send you my portfolio on Discord. Well, I mean, yeah, you can send me if you want to join the Discord, you're more than welcome to. But um yeah, I'm just trying to say like if you want to do this for free, I'm not going to turn down looking at that, but I'm not trying to buy it. Okay, so <laughs> I'd like to send you some very tasteful nude show I message you in Discord. I actually just email my work email. That's where I take all all nudes, tasteful or not. Can you drop your Discord link here? Yeah, I just did. It's like just above your message in the in the chat. Is this a bot? I got no clue. Probably. I could just be that dumb. I think my plan is to Charming Prince blink this to hit both. And then they'll just mill some more things that make their guys invincible. Right, I think Charming Prince to Blink is the right answer here. It puts more, or it puts power on the board still. Oh, maybe I should have hit the Carrioted? I don't know. I'd like to send you some very distasteful nudes, so I message you in Discord. <laughs> no, I, Woody, like I said, all, all nudes, please, directly to my work email. Zatalpa. It's not lifelink. I'm trying to mid-range. 
Alright, if they play a Soul Flare with Zatalpa. I'm probably still just attacking my ass off, right? We can add one, Wally. <laughs> oh shit, I can't miss that offer. All nudes direct to another Zatalpa. You're not shocking, are you? Okay. <laughs> My girlfriend will come back from her, her trip and be like, what did you do while I was gone? <laughs> and I'll be like, I solicited nudes from the people that watched me play a kid's card game. All right, this should just be lethal, I think. This is four, four, seven, nine. Why don't I have an OnlyFans? You know, Woody, I ask myself that question far too often. Okay. We got this game. I still think we just, it's like dumb luck if we can win. What a, what a match. How to end up in jail. Dude, I almost ended up in jail last night. Almost got into a fight at a basketball court. Cops came and everything. It was awful. I'm a fan of this channel. I'd, I'd join to be your only fan. <laughs> oh, shucks. Thank you, Woody. Why go blank over Leyline? I think go blank is better than Leyline because um, it also works for control matchups. Vanishing Burst, Zatalpa doesn't have Hexproof. Oh, that's a good point. Were you playing basketball or just lurking at the basketball courts? I was playing. Trying to get back into shape. I think I'm just going to be on the all discard. No sound here? Do I really not have any sound? Okay, I think I got to take this. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I mean, their hand kind of blows, right? So does mine. Um, I already committed to this. Maybe there was an argument for playing Charming Prince. Okay, their hand's really bad. I'm going to take Tainted Indulgence. I'd rather them duress me. Unfortunately, their hand is so bad, I don't think I want to go blank now. And unfortunately, I drew a black source, right? So I think I'm going to Charming Prince. And Scry, actually. All right, only, they only got 20 more turns to find something to do, right? Because of this sick clock I'm presenting. I think I'll keep a white source on top, but past that, it'll go to the bottom. Uh, my white two drop I would keep also. Okay, well, these both suck. 
I don't really want to tap land, and I don't want a Charming Prince. I will play this. Without Carried, their hand is just one step under Dog Piss. <laughs> yeah, the double discard was really nice. Right, we know four of six. Flicker the prince with prince. I don't know why I didn't think about that, dude. All right, now I think it's just play all my dudes. All right, they're not killing my guys, so the specialist isn't really getting value. Yeah, Wally, I don't think you're wrong, but I imagine they just have that very linear combo brain. I have Sylvan Carried to discard this hand good. They're going to start discarding the hand size. Let's go. And I drew hearse. Suck my balls, opponent. Excuse me, but. Yes, same me, Wally. Concession. Let's go. I guess I could have just played Extraction Specialist, which probably would have been the better line, right? Because this is 4, 7. It would have presented lethal. But I think we were fine. Because if they did any, like, setup that turn, which they would want to, I had go blank. But it probably is better to have just played Extraction Specialist. You know, they're probably on their end like I would be just swearing that it's like, I got a 23 land deck, why can't I hit one? It just feels nice to be able to observe that for once. Yeah, I'm pretty excited on Sunday. I'm going to play my first paper card tournament in like months and months and months. And it's not even magic. I actually think I keep this. Because I have a turn one and turn two play through Thraven. Excuse me? Wow. Wow, what a sick draw. What's up, Salutorius? Soul Flare is such a best of one deck, would probably dominate an arena. Yeah, geez. Could you imagine? Whoa. What is it? The event I'm playing? Woody, I'm going to try drafting flesh and blood. Pretty excited about it. You hope the opponent wins? Wally, why do you hate me? They probably will win. This is terrifying, huh? I think I just continue to put counters here. I just realized I don't have another white source, which stinks. Wow, this just is going to be a rough, too. Where's my Kataki? Excuse me? Wow, that's cool. I never. S I should read.
Well, this can't attack, so. This is a three drop. I think it's better to just play Soren and make a blocker for now. This chamber sentry is pretty cool. What is this? Okay. I think I'll just block with the flyer for now. Yeah, their deck is pretty neat. I'm gonna shoot the Soren. Cool stuff. Wow, I really screwed the pooch here, huh? This thing's got seven fucking power. I think I'd rather scry with this. Well, both of these are actually fairly good, huh? So I think I think I can afford to top how do I undo that I can't undo that well I would have liked to keep this but I actually I guess it doesn't matter which order they are on top Evac, I posted the link to my Discord. Uh, I'm not going to take the time to private message you. Especially because it is... Oh, is it 100% a bot? Okay. Thanks. I mean... It's hard for me to tell, as stupid as that sounds. This thing just kind of blindly attacks me, huh? I think I just let it hit me. This can go up to four. I'm still in a world of hurt, but. Hangerback Walker. That's a fucking yikes for me, Doc. Well, this probably shouldn't have attacked. I didn't think this through at all. Yeah, I shouldn't have attacked with this. Actually, I guess I'm okay because I kept this underdog. 
Now it might be awkward for them to attack because the Wandering Emperor could just exile this. Or, I mean, they just repurpose it. But this is a huge hanger back. This card is really pretty impactful. Hmm. Well, that's getting exiled. Vanishing Verse looking like crap. Okay, maybe I was supposed to hive here. I'm really not thinking these turns through all too well. I'm going to keep Charming Prince back because I think it's better to keep Wandering Emperor alive. Yeah, I didn't think that through. Um, I think I should kill. Wow. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think this through at all. So I could have put them to four. Actually, no. They could have sacrificed that thing and then killed my... I kill Leap. I would have too. <laughs> Their deck is crazy cool. Okay. I'm having a lot of matchups now with multicolor or colorless things. Which feels terrible. I think I just want Thirst. The Vanishing Verse hits some good stuff. Probably want Kalidus. Probably want Extinction Event. I don't know if Archon of Ameria is that good. You know, it'd be nice if I could actually pull off the Archfiend's Vessel shit. Duress on the play to eat an enchantment? Uh, that's probably really reasonable. Dude, I have no pressure with this hand, but I have a hard time mulliganing stuff like this. I mean, in my deck of spot removal, I think their deck is going to line up pretty well. Dude, that card's a problem, too. But I've, I think I have to take Hardened Scales. Fuck. Um, realistically... I just can afford to thirst. Keep the instant speed stuff. Oh, they have no land. Same logic. This is more power up front.
think I hold the push. I'd rather them have blocked. They still didn't draw a land. I might, I'm not going to push this because I think I would just want to. Yeah, worst case scenario, I'll just do this on odd here. Yeah, I'm going to do this on odd because they're stumbling. This way, if they play a two drop, I have an answer and I don't have to deal with my own two drops. Well, they just did nothing, so. Okay, maybe on the draw, I'm interested more so in these Thoughtseize type effects. I kind of feel like I could trim on a land on the draw. Do I really want these duresses? I don't know what I would cut for duress is the issue. Maybe trespasser I can trim. <coughs> To bring in at least one. Um, I think this is the type of hand you keep. Ugh. Abrupt decay. Chamber sentry. <laughs> Hell yeah, Woody. I think I have to leave them with this stupid chamber sentry card. This will be scrying if I don't hit a land. I'll clean out the gallon in anticipation. did hit a land but is it still just scrying I don't think my life total is too low here so I think I can scry too I agree I hope the extinction event is good another extraction specialist don't need that. Don't need this, I think. Tapped tomb. Okay, so... Wow, really? Even will be a great call. So I think I'm actually just going to do this and pass. Next turn now, extinction event. I want to get this vessel to die somehow. Gain one life for each colorless creature you control. Right, X is zero technically, so I think it is even. They have Abrupt Decay and Hostile Hotel. My plan is to call even, right? I 
I want both of these dead. They could shoot this. But that's still fine. Oh wow, they can go face with that. That's cool. Really sad this isn't dying, but... They have Abrupt Decay in hand. Oh my god. Force them to use it. Let's go. Should have attacked first. But this is still great. Yeah, I'm gonna... I was thinking about maybe I wanted to actually give this a counter. But Extraction Specialist for Prince... Set up my next draws feels good. I could make it so this attack can attack and block. I, I, I don't think I need another vessel, but I would like a push. In response, pitch three swing. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm I'm actually very excited to play. Okay, we got a push for this. Let's go. I think we are just snapping off push here, right? Okay, cool, yeah. I just gotta go to that, um... That graduation... Or not graduation, sorry. Housewarming party. But after that... I am down. Okay, I think this is better. Wow, clear the board. And they draw hardened scales. I draw Vanishing Verse. I am a scumbag. Yeah, what an insane draw. They just hit a land. I think I'm actually just supposed to... <laughs> Which one is witty? Supposed to draw. Alright, who wants to revive this to be a 5 5 when we can turn it into one? Concession. Did not expect to come back from that. Maybe this list is just cursed to lose match one. Thank you everybody for watching. Holy shit, there's a lot of people in here. I was really, really nervous after that first game that we were just going to have absolutely no chance to compete. Get to go first versus Chris Concarnage. Got a mulligan of one lander, I think, even though it's an insane 
curve. I'll keep this and probably put back a push. This will scry. What a cool name, Chris Concarnage. Against red, do I want to change my mind about this scrying? Probably not. to this can go bottom this can go top what up Corey how's the weekend treating you Chris can carnage pass the first turn without doing anything all right ooh kind of surprised I thought this was gonna be classic Burning tree, burning tree, I hate myself. Yo, what up, Snorlax? How's your week been, dude? Did you get multiverses? If I'm thinking of the right person. Swift Spear. Stomping my prince, huh? I think I have more opportunity to Thoughtseize. So I'm going to Wandering Emperor. So I think I missed one. Who did I miss saying hi to? What up, Bubble Tea? It Mr. Dot, Dot, Dot. Oh. Hopefully it's my best matchup, Woody. We'll see. I'm not going to exile this unless they invest more into it. Maybe that's a mistake. <sighs> okay, now I feel stupid. I think I'm... Yeah, I gotta exile... Plus on this. Would I just make another 2 2? Or do I never draw something again? If I ever draw an extraction specialist, I'm super happy, right? I think I should have thought ceased first. Jesus. Well, I guess the cleave is legendary. Ah, uh, removal spell, please. They drew that land, huh? Probably just would rather get in for damage. I'll hit this because if I draw a trespasser, I want more creatures in the graveyard. I'm at 22. They can do 10 to me. They could do 12 to me. I hope so. I hope so. So I take 13. All right, we don't know anything in their hand. That was awful. I 
I think I have to stay back. Oh yeah, they still have Ember Cleave. Right, 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 right. Good call. Well. I think I can still afford to block like this. But now we're just dead, unfortunately. Because if I... I don't even think I have anything to answer this. I guess I could get... <laughs> Our opponent is a doo-doo sandwich. Because now, right, I can't even, like, kill this if I draw an answer, which I drew the verse. I guess I can... No, they have a backup Ember Cleave. I could attack and then hit this, but I'd still be dead, huh? Because they can just re-equip, and then it's four. I'll be at two. I guess I'll attack and see what they do before I just scoop in frustration. They can actually stop the life gain too, right? Just block, sack. Yep. Alright. Ember cleave. No, didn't I discard an ember? No, I discarded. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That stunk. Let's take out Thought Seizes, though, so I don't take damage. Redain seems pretty good. Extinction Event seems like it could be good. A little scary. Let's, re let's recollect here. I'm going to take out a Soren because I brought in more four drops. Classic red, doing red things. I got a mulligan again. I think I actually put back the Emperor, as weird as that seems. Let's take the chance to not bolt this in. What's my day job? I'm a financial analyst for a national laboratory. Okay, I'll play this so I can play my one drop plus hold up fatal push. Burn a tree, burn a tree. I mean, I definitely swing here. Not that they block, but. Huh. If I draw a land, this is better. I guess I, I'm not in a rush. So you're the one playing with spreadsheets, I see? Yeah, I, I do a lot of playing. A lot of pointless stuff I do. What bigger cards am I targeting? Torbran, um, Bone Crusher, Rampaging Ferocidon. This isn't just like normal mono red, right? It's like that chunky one that Connor plays. So they actually have like a pretty good suite of threes and fours. I 
this fucker. That's frustrating. Not only did I not hit the land, they do have the Ferocidon, which is a problem. Okay, this seems kind of loose. They really just... What did I show them game one where they... They feel this is needed. I'm so fucked. Okay, get my life gain in where I can. Into Torbran. I'm taking this. Fuck it. Okay. Chris Con Carnage took me to Pound Town. Alright, let's hope this is a quick one because I gotta get out of here. Thank you everybody for watching, by the way, and all the new followers. I really do appreciate it. Even if I'm crabby and bitter with or without this hangover. Let's hope we can at least break even, get the 3 2. Alright. And Stan UA. Dude, why am I having. I gotta rework the mana, I guess? I'm having so many issues. I'm going to just be greedy and hope I draw white source. It feels so foolish to mulligan away two lands plus interaction. Am I busy tonight? Yeah, I think so. I got to go to um, my friend's discard spell. Fuck. My friend's uh, engagement party, and then I made other plans like near the city. I also just don't really like modern at all. Like every time I play it, I just get upset at how how much I dislike the MH2 cards. I think they would take... Tr I think if I was them, guessing, I would look to take Trespasser. But they took Push. White Source, White Source. Um, as much as... Okay, no, 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 no. As much as I'd like to conceal this... This is Abs and Grease Fang. This is Abzan Greasefang, and they did not take Trespasser. So do they really have... Yeah, I, I get that you want to test for it. It makes sense. Okay, I don't think it's... How like they can't Grease Fang plus loot, I don't think, in their deck. So I think I can afford to do this and make sure I'm still attacking with Trespasser. Yeah, the MH2 cards are just like so crazy. That's why, like, if I want to I mean obviously I'm playing Orzov if I'm playing. Seekus Chariot, dude. 
If I'm playing the format, I'm playing Orzhov, but it just does not feel particularly great. Okay, that's actually not the worst draw. This would be a five. Okay, so then I, I can attack here. I think pretty consequence free. What is the point of this? They're really going to block with this chariot? <sighs> I think they're setting up a Grease Fang, and I know I could lose... Well, I think they know I have Vanishing Verse, right? So they're, I think they want this to die and they're going to play a rat and get it back is what I think. So I think I actually want to exile this and not even let them get that opportunity. Even though I do see what you're saying where it's like double block, blow them out with removal. I think this is just more than fine. Right, obviously, if they go looter into Grease Fang, I feel bad. But I think that was their plan. You have Abrupt Decay? Mr. Podangles, is this the KO Diamonds deck? I don't know what the KO Diamonds deck is. But I sent him my list. Like, I made this list, and he was asking me about it in his Discord. Okay, so by doing this, I get to put a counter on my... I mean, I know he's also playing black-white midrange, but he's playing... I think a different variety. Oh, this chariot is... <sighs> they hit a chariot. And... Oh, that's already been exiled. So they put Stitcher's Thoughts, Use Concealed Courtyard, Takanuma into Grave, added Grease Fang to hand. Okay. Did they actually just draw? Am I dead? No? They have no vehicles in the bin. I kind of think I'm supposed to just... The only way I'm triggering Revolt to kill this Grease Fang is if... There's not... I don't have a lot. Sorry. I was going to say the only way to trigger Revolt is if I draw Thraven. I think I'm better off holding it, though, because most of my stuff is under 4 mana. I can draw shit like that anyway. Just swing with the Aspirant. The Aspirant can't attack or block because it was brought back by the Extraction Specialist. I'll take their other Grease Fang. If they want to block this, that's fine. Well, luckily I have so much life now that... Ooh, this actually flipped too, so now I have a 7-7. Seven, seven. 
I have so much life that even getting the Parhelion doesn't particularly matter. I wish this client didn't suck balls and I could see what my next draw is. Sometimes that would be nice. Okay, hearse has to be good. I think the rest is important. Go blank, probably two. So this is actually a matchup where I will give credit to the Thravens, right? Being able to revolt push makes it a lot better than normal. I think Sorens come out quite often. I think I can trim a specialist. Vanishing Burst actually hits all the vehicles, which is pretty nice. The Vessel being a 5-5, if I can revive it with Specialist, is pretty appealing. It might be a cut underdog angle. Right, I'm pretty much thinking I need to cut most of my value cards. Spam Risk is calling. I'm going to try it this way. Also, I'm just going back through the chat. I don't think I said what's up to Doug Jason. I responded to your message, but then, uh, wow, what an exceptional hand. Don't thought sees me. Stitchers is fine. Parhelion off of Stitchers, dude. These. These Stitchers have been putting me through the ringer. Does this represent Abrupt Decay because they shocked? Probably represents Grizzly Salvage. Either way, I don't think there's any chance I can not play this card. Well, I took care of one part Helion. I'm not going to attack. If I hit a land drop, you can also go blank, which is, which either way is fine. Yeah. I mean, I was just worried that if I didn't just jam that hearse, if I didn't just jam hearse, then I would run into the issue where they could grisly salvage and like combo me. Right. And then I would lose. So I think I had to do that. So I think I will be swinging here. Oh, can't stay away also. Yeah, it's pretty hard to resist this. Alternatively, I could just do nothing, hold up Clue, but Clue push, what I mean, if they play Grease Fang. This just resolved, and they discarded Seder, Rafine's Informant. Please do not just fucking add Witherbloom, Asika's Chariot. Sorry, why can't I see this? Courtyard, Rafine's Informant, another court. Okay, tap land, so I'm just gonna start beating in. They don't... Uh, this is probably bad. Because if they... Well, their next top deck has to be Grease Fang. But I think it's important to get this rolling. And then from here on out, I probably just hold up Clue Token. Oh, I fucked up. Grizzly Salvage, can't stay away, Grease Fang. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh yeah, sorry, I didn't even respond to your message, Blitzkrieg. I feel like a jerk. I play Epson Greasewing and Paper Charter Online, but can't figure out how to crew Parhelion. Yeah, um, Cranky answered you, but you do have to set this stop right here. Okay, so I messed up big time. Big time, holy fuck. I guess I'm actually just gonna push this. It prevents two tokens. Yeah, thank you for helping them, Cranky. That's very nice of you. Okay, so then I now just have this chariot in hand. I can... I have some options, right? I think my best option is actually to just exile this. Yo, Blitzkrieg, thank you so much for the sub. You did not have to do that. I really appreciate it, though. They're going to play another Chariot. I play my Wandering Emperor. They only have one attacker. But it deals with the Grease Fang. It sucks I have to main phase this, but it's tapped now. I'm going to put a counter here, so eventually they can both block cat tokens. This won't be blocking a cat until it's a 3-3. Three, three. Please don't say you drew another Grease Fang, too. All right, they milled Parhelion. Oh, informant off this can't stay away. Hell yeah, we milled, or we exiled. Okay, last card in hand is Chariot. Now we're in like a fantastic position, I think. Their last card is Chariot. Am I supposed to play around a top deck Grease Fang? They have two Parhelions. And they also have a Can't Stay Away in the bin. They have two Can't Stay Aways. They have a 3 out of 28 chance to hit a Grease Fang. If I don't do anything, they just play Chariot, though, which is pretty frustrating. I think I want to start attacking these. Parhelions. And I can reasonably do this. All right, now all my guys can block. Please no Grease Fang off the top. We know their one card is Chariot. They also have Can't Stay Aways in Grave, but those are kind of dead. I guess they could hit something that I block. Oh my god, did they get the look at like top five? Witherboom Command. Mills three cards, return a land, and drain. What land do they have in here that's worth doing that? Yeah, you're right. A go blank off the top would have been nuts. Just for this reason? Interesting to me. 
So I need to keep this clue for revolt. My question is just when do I start attacking? All right, what are the best draws? Potentially Vanishing Verse or another Luminarch Aspirant, I think. Realistically, a land is not bad. Um, neither is a concession from the opponent, huh? Actually, insane. Why? All right, so the overall record with this deck is 7-3. and three, Pretty respectable. Two match losses were to land issues. Disgusting. Go blank. Still get the bomb there. Yeah, it would have been. But I think the the reason why I was saying my, my good draws would have been Verse or Aspirant is because with the five mana, I wanted to be able to hold up from that point on Clue plus Push, right? So that frees up two mana. So I guess the land was actually a good draw too. And I had Castle online. So I just wanted to be able to play stuff, keep my hand size low to eventually start um, pushing my advantage to a point where they cannot get back. But all right, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, if you got suggestions for this deck, I'm gonna upload videos of it to YouTube, I think. So feel free. Actually, I would really appreciate if you subbed because it is tough to get a lot of subs there. My content's ass. But also, you can post in this Discord, follow this channel. I gotta call the stream. I gotta get ready to go. Let's find somebody to raid. I really appreciate everyone for being here. Is there someone? I'm so bad at this operating Twitch's website. Thanks, Woody. You two have a good one. I'm going to start this raid on Young Peasy. He is a goofball, also from the Midwest. Show them some love. Thanks, everybody.